Tamika. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well, man. Blessed to be here. Blessed to be here. Welcome. So you flew all the way in from Miami. Sure did. Now for those of y'all <laughs> that are wondering, I know some of y'all because y'all are dedicated winos, okay? Mm -hmm. You know who Tamika is because you see her Pangea wash cleaning y'all yonis. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I get, let me tell you something. I get so many emails because for some reason, like, before they we put a face to you when right. you were advertising with us, like, they thought that I own the company. Nice. Well, that's a good thing, though. I, I like, know, but I was It's a good thing because it's a great product. It is. <laughs> so no, no. Thing. Everybody is talk, like, oh, my God, they, they talk about buying, like, hella bottles and stuff like that. Let me actually put this bottle up. So, like, so this is, like, the travel size body of yes. the Pangea wash. When I'm talking about, like, don't dush. Yes, exactly. Okay? Don't. And we we don't say vagina, uh, you know, pussy. I say that. But she she's no. a little bit more classy. So she says Yoni. Yes, Yoni, your sacred space, your sacred okay. spot. Yes. Okay. See, she's teaching me because I'm, I'm ratchet. You know what I'm saying? So, listen. <laughs> and that's, no, it's funny because a lot of times people don't know know that I know a lot of times people do not know that some people still think that oh they pee out of their vagina some people still think that um that's the case and that's the reality and I'm like no you know your vagina funny? is like where babies come out of where like a phallus goes in that's where your cycle comes out but you don't pee out of your vagina no see this is the first time that I'm hearing this because I like seriously, Tasha. so I'm one of them. No. What you mean you don't pee out your vagina? It no. It's the. No. It's a vaginal canal. Have you, heard that canal. you <laughs> have a urethra. That is where I your get pee that, comes, but then it comes out. out of the, the no. Vagina the space. urethra is a tube, a hole located above where someone's penis goes in or where babies come out of. It's literally like this, like right on top. Lord it's not Jesus. the same hole. It's technical. It's, <laughs> Tasha, that hole is like too big. This like is a real right now. Like, I'm out of, no, there's a different hole. It's a different hole. It's a different hole. It's oh, different okay. Hole. No, you know what? I'm not going to go there because I was about to ask you a question. But What's I'm, the question? Now, you know when you put it out in the atmosphere, you, ha you cannot do that. When you put it out in the atmosphere, you have to let because it flow. Because I don't want this to turn into sex education because now you got me like, my well, what's the turning. question? Well, what's the question? Okay, all right. Um, we can just do this one. Just do this one. Just do this one. Okay, <laughs> just so. Just do this one. No, because I, you, you, okay, tell, before I ask the question, okay. tell everyone what your background is. Because I don't think they know exactly, like, who you are and what oh, you studied and okay. who your mom is. Like, you, oh, you've been doing yes. this. It's not just about, like, the Pangea watch. Then I'll ask my questions. Tell okay, me your scope okay. of work. Remember your question because now I'm interested. I'm going to remember I'm my question, <laughs> Justin. I'm going to remember okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. Um, well, for those of you that don't know me, um, my name is T.C. Atkinson, and I am... Look over there and tell them so they know. <sighs> my okay, name... <laughs> over right there, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, you guys. Greetings, winos. Hello, hello, hello. Um, my name is T.C. Atkinson, and I have a, I'm currently a Ph.D. student in tropical biology, and I have a publication on prostate cancer. I've done research on breast cancer as well as uh, liver cells. So that's my background right there. I have a degree in chemistry as well as a bachelor's in psychology. And, of course, I got my degrees, my undergrad degrees, from the number one HBCU on the land. Ooh. That's right, Florida Agricultural Mechanical University. Ooh. I am a rattler. <laughs> so all, to all my rattler winos out there, drop drop some orange and green. Drop some rattler snakes in the comments, please. Okay. But those are my background. So that's my uh, science background. That's my educational background. That's what I do. I'm a legit researcher, and I've been doing research for several years, and I have uh, publications on the research that I've done, which is in uh, prostate cancer. But currently, I study the evolution of chemicals. So, mm. you know, when you go to the grocery store and you're looking at the different produce and you cut open, let's say, an orange or you cut open a lemon or something like that, what you're smelling are the things that I study, right? And let's say when you go and you buy into some nice, delicious fruit, like a good mango, well, we're in Atlanta, so let's uh, find you a peach, a right? Peach, yes. Because I'm Jamaican, so I'm like, I'm always talking about mangoes and coconuts because that's my background. Right. But, um, okay, so we'll talk about peaches because we're in Atlanta. Okay. Um, but when you bite into that, what you're tasting, the flavor that you're tasting, all comes from chemicals. And that's currently what I study in our lab. I study the evolution of chemicals over time. How does a chemical become a chemical? Like, how does a plant manufacture a chemical? So that's mm. what I'm studying in lab. 
She too deep for the channel. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, but this is good, though, because, like, me, I, I'm sure they have lots of questions, too. And if you guys have questions, I want you to drop them in the comment yes. section. And the reason I've asked Tamika, you know, we've been talking about this for almost a year. Right. Getting you on the channel to explain yes. your scope of work and how your life, your actual lifestyle, your character goes into, like, helping solve problems within the body every day because you study chemicals. And yes. so if you know chemicals on the outside, you definitely know how they react to chemicals inside of our body. And this is like a passion of mine. Mm. See, a lot of people don't know, like, this same radio station, Jazz, Jazz, I think it was before Jasmine was here, okay? No, you was here when I, I had the most boring radio show here at the station. It was called Real Health, Real Beauty. This is before no. I had, yes, this is before I had, like, Unwired with Tasha K. And I brought in people like you. Okay. Okay, I had doctors. I had people flying in, uh, c cancer doctors. Everyone, oh, wow, okay. Uh, uh, personal trainers, dietitians, anyone that helped to, you know, improve, improve people's the body. lives. Okay. And nobody wanted to listen to it. So what was the deal? Like, was it that they were talking about it in a very boring, monotonous yeah, form? Yeah, and I, what I've noticed, and, and the difference between you and them, is that they they were more so textbook conversations. Oh, no. So it was kind of hard to translate that to someone who didn't go to medical school. No. And it's like, Did you, what, what does that word you mean? You have to keep it real. You have to keep it real. And that's the thing with Embrace Pangea. Like, we are literally all about keeping it real. Because being healthy is super simple. Right, changing your situation, achieving your personal health and wellness goals is super simple. But the thing is, you just have to be willing to have a conversation about it. Right, you have to be real with yourself. Right. So if you're not real with yourself, like a lot of times people will try, let's say women, they want to have, you know, a healthy vagina. Um, they may be having like fibroids or endometriosis, BV, things like that. But they're doing our Pangea pearls, our vaginal detox, but they don't tell their spouse. But they don't tell their partner. And so now they're sending us emails saying, oh, well, how long before I can have sex? How long before I can be intimate with my partner? And then they put this caveat, because I didn't tell them. Mm. And so that's the important thing. You have to be real with yourself. First. You can lie to people, but don't lie to yourself. Because at the end of the day, when you go to sleep and you're right there on the precipice before you drift off into dreamland, you're going to have to confront yourself. Mm. So before you roll over, you, you have, have a conversation. In psychology too. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, before you roll over and you're cuddling up with your significant other, whomever that may be, and you open up your mouth to say, hey, I'm going to be embarking on a herbal detox process that may interfere with our regular intercourse schedule. Before you do that, you have to have a conversation with yourself mm. to know that this is the right decision for me. This is what's going to help to take my marriage, my relationship to the next level, my life to the next level. So that's and, and the thing. And I find, you know, it's it's good that you brought that up. And I'm going to ask my question here in a second because it's related to like. Good, good, yes. good. Don't forget but, now. <laughs> a lot of people, it's, it's just like, you know, you want to, all right, like I'll give you an example. My husband stopped drinking. Oh, nice. Okay. So me, you know, I have the channel. I love my wine. Yes. You know, and so like when we go out now, he's like, okay, I'm not drinking. I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> so You're like, you're my buddy. You're my partner. Right, like, what happened for the right. team? And so it's like, I can see why a lot of people don't want to have that conversation because it does kind of create like a... Oh, you're maybe here or you're doing different mm. or you probably look down on me. Things like that. So mm. I can understand that because, like, I'm like, dang, I can't even invite you out because you don't drink. You just be sitting there no. like. You know, but he'll pick it back up at her already. Right <laughs> but anyway, anyway. But, okay, let me ask my question. Okay, okay, what's the, question, brought, what's the question? What's the question? The reason we brought you here is because I want you to uh, explain exactly what your products do and how much you've helped, like, women from all I mean, w more than women, men too. Okay? Right. Over 20,000 or so with just different things that's going on with their bodies, okay? And so the question is, being that I just heard, yes, y'all know I keep it real, that, you know, the pee don't come out of the vagina. I'm no. Like, what the? Okay. So when women squirt. Yes. They say the squirt comes out of the vagina, but the squirt comes from the urethra. Throw. Yeah, that's so true. So how is that? You okay. understand what I'm okay. saying? Is that, okay. a, is that a good question? It's a very, very good question because it's going to raise the vibrations and enlighten people. Okay. Okay? So that way when we're having intercourse with each other, we're doing it from an authentic place. Right, from a place of knowing what's really going on with my partner. Not just, oh, well, I think this is what's happening. Or someone freaking out 
because they don't know that this is an amazing experience that you're having, but they just didn't know what was really going on. Okay. So for the sanity of people's bedrooms, <laughs> let's have this conversation. So yes, when a woman squirts, it does not come out of the baby hole, the vagina. No, it does not. You see, Jasmine. Look, no. ja- Jasmine, she when no. she give them faces like, cause the winos have picked her up. They're like, you see her face. <laughs> So we used to go. No, it does not. Okay. So for me to illustrate, because I love demonstrations, okay? So let's just say, for instance, my little amazing juice that I have here. Let's just say, for instance, this is the vagina hole, right? On top is the urethra. Okay. Which is different than the vaginal canal. So it's its own hole. It's a totally separate hole. Totally separate hole. Okay. It's not the so same. So when Serves a, a woman different is orgasming, orgasm and yes. she's squirting, she's really peeing. No, she is not peeing. The liquid is just traveling through the same hole. Now, keep in what mind, the f- <laughs> there may be some residual. There may be some residual. Okay. Okay. Or urine that may be left in because it's coming through the same hole now. It's coming through the same hole, but it's not pee. It's definitely not pee. Okay. So, what is it? Okay, then what is it? The olive leaf extract can help detox your body in just seven days. It's like magic, but better because it's real and it gives real results. And I know this because I personally use it. The olive leaf extract can help lower your blood pressure, clear eczema, and fight against autoimmune diseases and so much more. Now, I want you to do something good for your health and just visit their website at www.myoliveleaf.biz. The link is located below in the description box as well as in the comments. Okay. Because I've tried to like Google this and a lot of doctors have not like really gone into this. Okay. Long story short. Okay. It is a blessing from the gods. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay. Bless it. I get that. I'm just saying. Yes. I'm just saying. It is a blessing. It's a I blessing from the gods. My business, okay. But it's a blessing. But so um, it's literally just a mixture of just fluids. It's not pee, because here's the thing, what is pee? So let's clear that up. Okay. Because we're saying it's not pee, but we didn't address what pee actually is. So let's see what pee actually is. Pee is when you are, you know, filtering your body, you have solids and you have liquids. Right. Your kidneys filter out any type of impurities, any type of uh, waste, you know, that is not going to be in a solid form. And that is what comes through your urethra. Okay. The liquid detoxification from your body system. Okay. All right? So, that's a good thing because (laughs) that means when someone squirts, when a woman squirts, the person that is on the receiving end, whether it's going to be a man or a woman, can fully indulge in the blessings from the gods. (laughs) Wait a minute. Okay, that's what that means. That's what that means. So, that's why I wanted to clarify with people to let them know it's not any type of uh, toxins. It's not any type of waste. Right? In okay. a liquid form. Because okay. that's what pee is. Yes. Right? That's what pee is. So that's why I wanted to just clarify what pee actually was, which is not what um, a woman squirting is. When a woman squirts, it's literally just fluid buildup. It's not anything that was filtered through the kidneys so it's like or anything as, as like if that. She's, she's like extra lubricated. And that lubrication just no. kind of... See, see, lubrication is in the vagina. Lubrication is in the vagina. Do you see how technical this is? Lubrication is in the vagina. Lubrication is in the vagina. Lubrication is in the vagina. Say it with me. Lubrication Lubrication is is in in the the vagina. vagina. Okay. See? Okay. Yes. All right. That's what it is. So it's it really just doesn't come from anything. It's just like you said, a blessing from the gods. Yes. So that's why there's not really a lot of research on it because they can't figure it out. Okay, that makes sense. When you you think things that are unexplainable, you know, you just have to give it to God. Like, <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm just going to trust you know what you're doing. So, But we know what it's not. Okay. We know what it's not, and that's the important part. Because I'm telling you, I've done research on this, because I, I remember... Yes. I don't like to share stuff like this, but... But you since know, we're having this conversation... Okay, the first time it happened to me, I was like, oh my God, what the... What ha- what is going on here? Like, and I thought it, it's embarrassing when it first happened because it's like, did I just be on my And see, that's why we need to have the conversation. You know? <laughs> because now, listen, imagine if you knew that, oh, this is going to happen and it's going to be a blessing from the gods. You're like, oh, I want to bless, keep on blessing, keep the blessings coming. 
Is it? I've held it back because I can. No. I, and I hold it. Don't I'm hold like, back the, your blessings, the, Tasha. I, <laughs> no. On my own, I don't. But no. if I'm in, like, it's just, you know, because there's not a lot of education out there about it. Exactly. And I've done a lot of education, but it, I mean, like try to do a lot of research. Right. It, but right. I come back to, they just say it's fluids. So I'm it just is. Like, but it is literally it is. But it's it comes not out of your urethra. So I'm like, is it? Yep. Because you know how you can drink so much water? Because like me, I stay extra hydrated. My pee is never yellow. It's white. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's clear. It looks like water. So I'm thinking that's what it is. No. So mm-hmm. the woman that's not hydrated, maybe hers is yellow. <laughs> Tasha. <laughs> Tasha. We're going into the color. <laughs> Okay, we are analyzing okay. the okay. frequency. <laughs> We're deep diving on the shade. Okay, so what <laughs> made you want to study? Because this product, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's amazing. I keep this right beside my uh, my body wash because yes. I don't wash. And see, let me tell you something. I'm gonna be all the way 100 with you. Always. My husband had to educate me. Mm. Because he saw growing up in Africa, women do not put any type of chemicals on their yonis. Mm-hmm. They only use water. And if you go mm. to someone like from, uh, like if I go to my aunt's house, mm-hmm. we and if you come to my house too, but except for we have a bidet, we done fancied it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now, bidet, that's, now that's now that's the next level. It's the next level. But you <laughs> get them off Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I walked into my friend's bathroom because I did a podcast with her this recent Saturday. Okay. I walked into her bathroom and I immediately screamed her name, and she was like, "What?" And I was like. Is your bathroom toilet going to take off on me? Because I cannot afford to be sitting on a rocket ship toilet. <laughs> and so she comes and she explains, oh, well, we just attached it because yeah. she bought one from Amazon. Yes. And then she attached it onto her already existing toilet. Because you know how they have yeah. the toilets that come pre-built with it yeah. in? No, no. Hers was attached. Oh, and that's all just like, what is this contraption? <laughs> Like, I need explanation. You cannot just let strangers, well, not strangers, but you cannot let people that don't live here walk into your bathroom like this. But for a lot of people that don't know what a bidet okay. is, because there's a lot of people that don't know. Right. It's like, oh, it's just a separate water system yes. that you use to wash yourself instead of using toilet paper, like yes. cotton. Because a lot of the cotton now is GMO. It is genetically yes. modified. But not only that, think about this, like... Because I'm a very real and honest person. And we're talking about the care of the yoni, a.k.a. Yes. Pussy on my channel. But listen, <laughs> cats. Okay, so, go ahead. <laughs> think about this. Now, imagine if we came in here and um, you know this because you're your new mommy. Yeah. And let's say, for instance, we had some uh, peanut butter. Okay. And you got some peanut butter on your hand, right? Right. Now, how would you clean that off? You use water, right? right. Soap and water. Right. Now imagine when someone go uses the restroom. They have a bowel movement or a number two, you know, whatever you want to call it. Now you're using paper to basically get off peanut butter. If you're not eating well That's a or very anything like good that. Example. Now when you have baby wipes which is what I prefer to use. I prefer to use yes, baby wipes. Baby wipes and like then the best of both the, worlds. And then follow with the water. It works, man. Yes. Now, if I were to use baby wipes to remove the peanut butter that was smeared on my hand, it would get a lot of it off. Now, if I take it a next level, a level up, wow. and I use the soap and the water combo, now I'm just like brand new hand, like high five and everyone, like hello, good morning, <laughs> let's go, right? right? So that's the thing when you have a bidet. You're literally leveling up your health when it comes to, you know, having a bowel movement. Because that's a toxin. It is. And so, like, uh, you know, you're basically trying to get rid of everything. But if you're not, and you know what, I, even though, I'm going to be honest with you, I do not like Cardi B. Everybody knows that. But she said something on the internet okay. that was real. I okay. cannot I cannot argue with the truth. Okay, so okay, what did she say? I will say? never, ever try to down someone just because I don't like you. But if you speak truth, I'm going to give you your props. She said that basically when she uses the bathroom, she takes her whole finger mm. and literally gets in her butt. And you're supposed to do because it's still in the in the canal. Your intestines is different from your canal. So you take that baby wipe mm-hmm. and you get up in there. You know what I'm saying? Because that could also go into the yoni and then you got problems. And then this is when you really going to need the Pangea wash to get everything straight. You know what? 
sometimes in life you're going to have to know when to congratulate and salute people from the sidelines because they are down to do something you are not willing down to do. And I support the movement from the sidelines. I'm just going to have to stick to my baby wipes. Yeah, because you know, she she puts her she puts the baby wipes. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to stick to my baby wipes just on the outside, oh, not putting my fingers okay, on it. On the inside. I'm just like, but but she made ooh, a point though. But she made a point. You a gotta clean it. It's you a good gotta point. clean it. I just I just cannot be down to do that for myself. <laughs> I mean, I support. I salute. But a lot of people are going back there to do other things, and so if it's not clean. And that's what she said. You know, I, my man, I feel like my man want to hit it from the back. <laughs> or, you know, even uh, 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 gay couples. Right. So, you know, they have to have. And you know what's funny? Like, I go I go back to this. Like, my my husband gave me real education on it because he didn't understand when he met me. I was like 23. He was like, why are you using toilet paper? Mm. And I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, where I'm from. Game name. changer. Yes. Game I, changer. I'll be all the way 100. He was like, that's kind of nasty and I'm like mm, You're, this mm. is the first time I heard this and I literally like sat there like what are you talking about he's yep. like where I come from the women use water every time they use the bathroom and I'm like really yes they use their hand and their water like he had to give me an instruction on it mm. and then when I found out that the United States is really the only place that use toilet paper mm. and they have le- like when you go overseas like to Africa they don't have problems with like BV and a lot of yeast growth and stuff because they really because know of how their to practices. the practices the natural hygiene pra- the practices the natural and mm-hmm. water cleanses it so every time they use the bathroom when that like you said the kidneys are filtering mm-hmm. you know the toxins from the body and so is your bowel movement mm-hmm. filtering the toxins but exactly. if you're just wiping that peanut butter with a piece of paper are you really filtering your body you're not cleaning you're not cleaning. and if you ain't going to the bathroom you really not filtering and then think about this so let's say you don't clean your butthole well that's number one so now you have residual leftover peanut butter because we're getting visual here and then now when you put on your underwear if you wear underwear now the bacteria the e coli goes from your butt to your uh panty lining and then it travels because your butt is right there next to your vaginal opening. <laughs> and it goes into your vagina. And then you're wondering, why am I having excess discharge? Why am I having, you know, odor? Why am I having all these different things that's going on to me right now? Well, maybe you should be using a bidet. Or at least baby wipes. See, and this like, is, I'm, I'm so glad that you're here. Somebody that actually studies this. Like, this is what you do. This is your life. You know what I'm saying? You tell people how different chemicals interact with their bodies and what Mm. they should be using. And that's why you created the Pangea Wash. Yes. The Pangea Wash literally is fantastic. Like, I just spoke to a woman. (laughs) Oh, no! I just spoke to a woman the other day, and she was saying, like, she is extremely sensitive. Like, she is so sensitive. Story of my life. And... She said that ever since she started using the Pangea Wash, like, she literally can go into a room, can go into her office space and sit for eight hours and get her work done. Because before, she literally would have to keep on getting up every 30 minutes because she couldn't sit down because she was just so sensitive. Her vagina was getting irritated by her Mm. sitting down that long. And I can imagine because, like, if you're sitting down... And that it's like moisture trapped. Yes. It causes irritation. Mm-hmm. And especially if you're not wearing like breathable underwear or cotton underwear. If you're wearing anything that's um, going to cause the moisture to be trapped, then you're causing bacteria to fester. And also keep in mind, there's no lights in mm. your vagina or in your panties or in your uh, pants or uh, shorts or anything like that when you're sitting down. So that's a dark environment. And remember, mm. bacteria thrives in dark, moist environments. Let me tell you. Let's see. This is this. I think this. We're about to really go deep on this, okay? Because you're bringing go. up some stuff Let's like go. in my past. I remember when I was. Uh, I had to be like twenty. This is a year before I met my husband. Till he mm. actually, you know, told me. And then his mom and them, like that's how they do it. Like every time I go into a house, anywhere, like it could be in Europe, they have bodets in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. White folks. Black folks, okay? Yep. And so I remember when I was, I had so much yeast mm. overgrown in my body. The doctor had gave me two, they had to give me four diflucans, those pills. Wow, okay. At like 22 years old. And I remember taking the second dose because I was like, 
I was so irritated. This wow. is not an STD. This is not nothing like that. Right, this is no, just it's not. Me not knowing how to care for my body. And right. I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of girls don't get that talk because half the times they mamas don't know. Right. Okay. And so I remember taking the second dose of Diflucan. Then I got the dir- third dose and I was like, oh my God, I cannot sit down. I cannot go you to work. You weren't improving or anything. I had, I kid you not, you see the size of this bag? Yeah. It was a patty of yeast. Detach, slide out. Into the toilet. No. That was the last time I had a yeast infection. Because mm. I started re and I, I was like, thank, and I believe it, listen, and I'm not, I'm talking spiritual now, I believe in the law of attraction because yes. like, a year later I met my husband and he really got down because I was like, okay, I'm not eating this, I'm not eating sugar, I'm not drinking no sugary drinks. I changed everything. Because I'm like, I'm thing. not, I was like, how in the hell, it was like that big. It was like a patty of yeast. It like detached from where it was. Oh gosh! And just and it went slip and slide and it slipped and slide. Ball. Like oh gosh! Okay. So yeah, when you came yes. with this, I was just like, no, this it, because a lot of women like if you're not using water, you do need something that's natural because a lot of people just think, oh, using water, putting water down there while I'm using the bathroom, that's. I've heard them say it. Mm. It's nasty. I'm like, it's not nasty. You're. It's like taking a shower every time you use right, the bathroom. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, and now the thing, but we're gonna too, get into this product here in a minute. I just wanted to show you as an example. <laughs> I'm keeping it all the way 100 with y'all on the channel. Nice. Because as women, the more we talk, the more you like you said, a lot of people aren't having these conversations with their partners. You have to be real. You have to be comfortable. You have to be, real. You have to be authentic in the life that you're living. And if you don't feel that you're comfortable speaking about your life with your partner, well, is that person really your partner? Mm. If you can't speak about your life with them and you're supposedly sharing your life. Mm. And remember, your time, not your money, but your time mm-hmm. is your greatest resource. No one's printing time. No one's refunding time. No one's handing it out for gifts and presents around right. the holidays. Your time. So if you're sharing your time with a spouse, a partner, a soulmate that you would want to call that person, but you can't speak about those things that really concern you with them, mm-hmm. then you may want to reevaluate. Mm. You may want to do an inventory check. Mm. <laughs> you may want to go back to the drawing board on that one. My like my life has changed so much from just from knowing about holistic health and being surrounded by people who who lived it. Like I remember when I had my daughter, mm-hmm. my husband was trying to get me to have a natural birth. I was like, nah, because I got pregnant literally within the same year okay. like that we met oh so yeah we have we y'all were busy yeah we yeah. got okay. married we met and got married four months to do, into it and stuff and so he was but like y'all are still here that's yeah, beautiful 15 years later girl <laughs> hey. oh okay so no but i'm just saying but my when i say my husband knows everything about me everything everything that i've ever gone through everything that i've ever done like i'm talking about body wise too like that story mm. he knows about that story like I'm not ashamed to talk to him because this is real. This is real right. life. And so, like, <clears throat> when I have people like you in front of me, like, just like my husband was educated in that and, you know, his mom and his sisters and stuff, like, this, these are women that have never had a yeast infection. Mm-hmm. These are women that don't even know what BV is. That's so beautiful. Because, like, after you have sex, like, you got to... Yeah, you go and you wash you, up you and wash you wash up with water, but not with soap. Huh, now, see, that's where I differ. That's, that is definitely where I differ. And clearly I differ because I have a whole entire pinch yes. to wash. So clearly <laughs> I'm for the soap. soap. though. No, it is. It's made from a plant called soap nuts. It's Wait a, a natural plant that naturally minute. suds. Yes. Okay, I didn't think this was a soap because it doesn't even like, I mean, it lathers. It's a plant. It's a plant but that when you plant. add water to it, it's going to sud on up. Yes, because think about it. See, I didn't even know that, y'all. See, so I'm telling you, I'm learning yes. all this as we go. It has honeysuckle and it has rose essential Storm. oil extracts in there, which are good for it's because it's antibacterial, antiviral. But the foaming part of it comes from soap nuts. And they're plants that when you add water to them, they naturally soap up. Okay, okay, so what's the difference between your soap yes. and like something like a... Um, Something that we we buy okay. from, like, Walmart or something. Okay, so the main thing is, number one, you can actually read the ingredients. <laughs> number two, it's all plant-based. It's all vegan. It's all natural. That's the other part to it as well. Okay. And number four, it's a foaming cleanser. It's mm. a foaming cleanser, so you get more bang for your buck. That's the other part of it. You don't have to use a rag because some women, they um use, like, let's say, uh, any other commercial version of this, and they have to pour it on a rag. Now, when you pour it on the rag, 
is this rag the same rag you used to wash your whole entire body, including your feet I've that never, you walked around I've with? Ne- First of all, I never <laughs> believed in that shit. No. So that's the, that's the other question you have to ask. Remember that inventory check? Mm-hmm. Take inventory. Where's this rag coming from? Is this a separate rag? Okay, let's say you have a separate rag for your yoni, a separate rag for your vagina cleansing purposes, right? Mm -hmm. Is this the same rag that you used yesterday to clean your vagina yesterday? Mm. A lot of people use towels, head to toe. See, now the reason why it's very beautiful to use our Pangea wash is because it's a foaming cleanser. You don't need to sud it up. You don't need to add it to any type of fabric like a a rag or a sponge or even a sea sponge if you're using a natural sponge. You can use your hand and you can get intimate to know what's really going on with your body. Because I have used this in in conjunction with my bodet. When I use the bathroom Mm. and I'm in there, I have a bottle that sits in my bathroom. Anybody that's been in my house knows. Jasmine, I see it. She knows but, um, yes, this is there with my bidet. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And that's a beautiful thing right there because you are literally incorporating into your life natural hygiene products. And you're making it just something that you don't have to think about. It's just a part of your routine. So that way you are having a healthy routine. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, And that's the thing, too. Sometimes people feel as though they're overwhelmed. They feel as though they don't know where to start because it's so many options. It's so many um this is the way you're supposed to do it type of ways out there, right? And what my philosophy is at Embrace Pangea is all about good, better, best. Start where you are with what you have so that you can achieve your goals later on. So let's say, for instance, you don't have a bidet right now. That's okay. You can get a bucket because I have I have buckets in my bathrooms too. You see? You so see? there are the little garden buckets I think I talked about this on an old video when I first started. Cause, okay. Because, you know, Trick Daddy had, was talking about dark skin women. And he was. Oh. Anybody that I thought is he was red, talking about booty holes. Any, any, look, any wine or no, I'm, I went in on his gold teeth and I said, this is the <laughs> same Trick Daddy that has those gold teeth that I'm sure has bacteria built up from his whole life. Oh, and you're letting no. this man go down on you and you're not cleaning properly. Then no, you but that's why a real you got thing. BB. I'm serious. Though. That's a real thing. That's let, a real thing. You don't let no man go down on you unless he has high, like perfect hygiene in no, his mouth. No, it's true because there's a lot of bacteria, and even there was a study that they reported that the bacteria in your mouth, or the state of how good your mouth is, um, health wise, can reflect in your body. So people who have poor oral hygiene, mm-hmm. they have like a. Uh, bad breath, they have like decay, you know, things like that going on in their mouth, they can have heart attacks. Yes, I was going to get into that. Yes. So that's what they have actually scientifically proven. So the plaque buildup yes. on your teeth is the pla- same plaque buildup in that your is going to clog up your arteries. Yes, yes, exactly. So that is that is real talk right there. Mm-hmm. Now I really want to get delve in because it's not just oh, one thing go though. Ahead, go ahead, Before go ahead. we do that, remember or not remember because some people may not be aware, but Yeast infections are not isolated to the vagina. Yeast mm-hmm. is a fungus that naturally occurs in your body, all throughout your body. On the outside, but, too. Right, outside, inside, but it is checked. It is in balance, right? For us, our bodies, we have good and bad bacteria. Mm. We have fungi, and everything is in check in a healthy state, right, in a balanced state, right? Mm-hmm. But the thing is, you can have yeast infections at different parts. All right, guys, time to shout out one of my sponsors. You guys know that it's tax season, and I know you guys are going to be shopping for new and used cars. If you were smart, you would get a used car, okay? Take it from somebody that know that's in a new car right now, and I'm trying to get that shit back. Please visit the Car Marshall link below, okay? This is a site that has over 100,000 cars in stock, ready for you to choose from, and using the link below in the description box as well as in the comments, you'll just type in your zip code and they will do the work from there, okay? So when we're talking about, you know, having bad oral hygiene and then someone going down on someone else and then now you have a yeast infection, yeah, because that's a transfer of yeast. So when you have a yeast infection in your mouth, right, or yeast overgrowth in your mouth, it's called thrush. Mm. They call it something different. Just because they call it something different doesn't mean that that it's... Right, like for instance, okay, my name is T.C. Atkinson. People call me Tammy from Miami, um, when I'm in lab, they call me, you know, what they call me in lab, but I'm also a daughter. I'm also a sister. I'm also a cousin. I have all these different titles in my life, but at the end of the day, I'm the same person. So just because you have yeast in different parts of your body, they call it different things. If you have it in your feet, they call it athlete's foot. 
Mm. But guess what? It's the same time, same, same yeast. Mm. Now, if someone has athlete's foot and you're into foot fetishes, and you go Ooh. and you suck on someone's toes with Ooh. athlete's foot. Now, guess what? You have yeast in your mouth. And now, let's say you turn around, you give someone head, or you eat someone out. Guess what? Now they have a yeast infection in their vagina. Ooh. So that's what I'm saying. Everything is connected. Nothing is separated. So you have to be very aware of what's going on with your body because just because you see something happening in one part of your body doesn't mean that it's not going to happen somewhere else. Mm. I mean, we, like I said, we can go really deep in this because, I mean, even even like with the booty hole. Mm. A lot of people around here tossing salads and stuff. Not knowing, I mean, that's, that, 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 that's where the worst waste comes out of and You put your mouth on it and then you wonder why you can't get rid of some of the shit you got. I mean, some people have different goals in life. <laughs> I don't know. Some people have different goals. I just be like, oh, I okay. Can't, like, <laughs> I'm not licking no burger. I be like, like okay. I, I, ask, I ask myself, like, would you lick your whole ass? Would you look if you huh. if you won't do it to yourself? Why would you do it to somebody else just because you're trying to That's be this a like this bad bitch or this freak or this that? Huh. I'm sorry, I'm just not that. I'm just not that. Not today. I'm gonna have to put a church finger and just okay. see my way out of this conversation. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Okay, so now there is more that you deal with than just the yoni. Yes. Okay, which I like, and um, and also for the record, before we move on, I don't believe in dishes. <laughs> There's a lot I of people agree. that argue with me in my comments every time no. I play a commercial, and I'll be like, "Don't dish." That's nasty. right. They be like, "Who told you that?" My mama told me. And I'm like, "Yo, mama didn't know." You don't dish. Okay. All you need is some water on the outside. It will balance itself Listen. when you clean it properly. Listen, let me just. Do a little smidgen on that really quickly. What is happening when you dish, right? Because sometimes people don't understand why they shouldn't do something because they don't really understand what is happening. Preach, right? preach, Tammy. Preach, Tammy. <laughs> let me get on. Let we me pull this, my dress I, up. I see them in the comments going <laughs> off on me like, Tasha, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, bet I do. My yoni done been through a lot. Okay? And Hello. I know. Hello. And all I have to do now is throw some water, some Pangea wash. I'm good. I don't and have no problems. Keep it going. I don't have no yes, problems. Exactly. <laughs> so the thing about it is when you are dishing, what are you doing? You're taking water or you're taking some type of a saline solution mm -hmm. and you are squirting it into your vaginal canal. Not your urethra mm -hmm. where you pee out of, but your vaginal canal. Okay. Your baby hole. And when you do that, the liquid comes out. And when the liquid is coming out, it's bringing everything out with it. So, yes, you get the bad bacteria, but you also get the good bacteria. Yes, you get the fungus, but at the same time, remember, everything is in balance. So you need to have the good bacteria in a certain proportion and the bad bacteria in a certain proportion. And when you dish, you can skew that balance. And now what happens when people are out of balance? Like, you know how they have, like, these commercials yeast, and... Yeast overgrowth. <laughs> right, and the commercials are like... I used to like, do it, and that yes. helped... That helped. That that was the reason why I had that patty coming out of me because I'm like trying to dish it away. No, nope. and Not you were really. douching it right on in. Right on in. Right on in. And that's the truth of the matter. So sometimes people want to do the best thing for them, but they're just not really sure or properly educated as to what the best thing is. Mm. So your intentions are there but you're just going about it the wrong way. So that's one thing why we do go out of our way to make things very clear, to break things uh, all the way down so that people are very well educated about their body. Mm. You know, so that's what we do here at Embrace Pangea. Okay. Now, Tammy, I want to go, because I don't think, uh, yeah, Tammy do a lot more than just takes care yes. of our yonis and stuff. Like I said, you, you're doing papers on like, what, prostate cancer, things yes. like that. I have personally used your coconut uh, crush, is this coconut, coconut crush? crush. This is not the crush. Here this is, is naturally nude. Okay, the coconut crush yoda. Let me tell you. So when me and Tammy, Tammy first met, I call you Tammy. But <laughs> when me and Tammy first met, um, she sent me these two as yes. samples. Okay, and I still have one of these. Hey, because I don't need deodorant every day. Mm -hmm. When you get yourself off of that aluminum, right? Okay? No, it's true. No, because I mean most deodorants. Pretty much all of them, unless they're a natural holistic right. company such as yourself, have aluminum. Right. And so, I mean, we can get into, we can go all day on what aluminum is doing, you know, to the breasts and then the, just the health of the breasts and stuff like that, because that is an opening to your body. Right. Exactly. So, 
I would rather, if I'm going to put something in my body every single day, I want it to be 100% natural. Right. And that's Chemical your free, all of that. Yep. This is 100% natural deodorant, long lasting, aluminum free. And I don't have to wear your deodorant every day. Every That's day. A beautiful thing. It's only like when it's really hot outside and I know that I may be doing a lot of work, I'll throw it on. But for the most part, I don't have to worry about wearing it. That's a beautiful it. thing. That means that your body is actually in a very healthy state. Yeah. Because think about it. Your skin is one of your elimination organs. And matter of fact, it's your largest elimination organ, right? Mm -hmm. And what does your skin do? Number one, your skin protects your body from, like, outside elements and things like that. But it also allows for toxins to be released, right? Mm -hmm. It's one of your elimination organs. So if you are releasing toxins every single day because people sweat, um, people perspire, things like that, if you are not smelling an odor, that means that your internal health is really good. Y'all hear that? <laughs> if you stink... Yeah, if yeah, you, you do, might be, you might need a detox. Yeah, it's a reflection you, of your stomach, right. your intestines, what's going on. Right. Right, exactly. So, and I mean, for me, it's important to have something natural, too, because I breastfeed. Mm -hmm. And so I remember when I put up on my channel, like on the community feed of my channel, and they, I had some people going in. I was like, oh, my gosh, I got really can't wear deodorant as much because I'm breastfeeding. Right. Because that's an opening. And it goes and right, right into, to your And breast. you actually have milk ducts that come up into mm -hmm. the armpit. And a lot of women don't know that. And imagine, like, if you're using something other than Embrace Pangea, which you should be using, Okay. This is yes, one hundred percent natural, crush. coconut crush, GMO free, USDA organic, made with love. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. You are putting aluminum. Yes. Into your body, into your your milk ducts, into your breast cells every. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is that when you have a commercial deodorant, the reason why they put aluminum inside of it is because aluminum is really great at blocking, mm. right? So what are they doing? They're blocking your sweat ducts, your sweat glands. You're supposed to sweat. Right. So they're stopping you from going through a natural process in your life. Now, what happens when you add these chemicals? Your body is always, listen, your body is always going to be working in the best interest of you, even if you are not. Mm. Even if you are not, your body is going to be working in the best interest of you. So what does this mean? This means that your body is going to take the chemicals that you have just put and introduced into it and try to siphon it off somewhere for safekeeping. So when you have women who have, uh, well, all women have breasts, um, but the reason why you have alumina that goes into the breast is because, one, you have your lymph nodes there, your lymphatic system there, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And so it's an easy transport from your lymphatic system to your breasts. And the reason I know this is because my mom, she recently survived breast cancer. Oh, wow. And Congratulations her, to your mom. Thank you. Wow. Shout out shout out to Regal Rose Club. Shout out to mom. Hey, mom. Hey, um, but her breast cancer moved from her right breast into her lymphatic system in her arm. So mm. I'm just showing you that it works both ways. The transfer works from outside of the breast, your lymphatic system, to go into the breast. Mm. And it also works from going from the breast to the outside. Mm. It works both ways. And so what your body does, it takes the chemical, which is aluminum, that they put into the deodorant to keep you from sweating, basically because they don't want you to smell, which comes from the bad food that you're eating, mm. right? It goes all the way back. It goes all the way it's back. It's cycle of life. It is. And so your body takes it there to try to protect itself because you have a lot of uh, fat cells there. And fat serves a purpose for not just storing, but also protection. So if you have a body that is filled with a lot of chemicals um, or toxins, your fat is like an insulator. Mm. It's like a covering to protect your body from those toxins and those chemicals. So, so fat ain't always bad, y'all. <laughs> if you're gaining weight, it's because your body's trying to protect itself. I'm like, you better listen to doing. your body. <laughs> you better listen to your body. Your body's trying to tell you something because your body's always working in your best interest, even if you are not. Mm. So you better listen. You okay, better listen. okay. See, I love this. And I, I always tell people, you want to argue with me about deodorant, ask a breast cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. They will put you on game, mm -hmm. okay? Because I, I, I have a friend who just survived. Well, she's actually... It, she's been in remission 22 years. Ooh, and every time yes. I go to her house, she gives me natural products. I actually just gave her your products. Oh, thank yeah. you. Um, I, I mailed them to her or whatever. I like sent them to her house. But um, And she loves the deodorant because she uses, she, she's always trying to find stuff that she can use right. to keep her from, because she's an older woman. Okay. So, of course, you know, we perspire more got the it, more got we it, get got older. It, got you know it, what I'm saying? It. And so, like, 
Um, she's always looking for something that's natural because she's not putting no type of chemicals under there because she doesn't yes. want her body and especially reacting. when you've gone through something that's yeah. so traumatic health wise, it really shifts your worldview and puts your life at the forefront. I know my mom, when she was going through her breast cancer situation, she literally was like a deer in headlights. Mm. And then her whole entire life shifted. Like, she went vegan and everything. Did y'all hear that? Yes. She went vegan and gave her body plants. She sure see, did. Because I, I like to tell people like this. And, and see, that's why I love people that do what you do. And that's why I, mm. I had such a passion. Because I wanted to do this. A lot of y'all said, but why are you always doing stuff just, like, talking about our people? Because y'all love it. We love it. <laughs> we love the fuck shit. But uh, <laughs> we learn from each other when it comes to the fuck shit. But we can also learn, too, like, how important it is to take care of the mm. body. Because I like to tell people, you try, the body is a plant. It comes mm. from the earth. And so, and the earth grows plants to make it survive. So it's like, where does our bodies go back to when we die? Mm-hmm. It goes back to the earth and it fertilizes it the sure soil. Does. Like, it don't sure put does. me in no, no, no casket, you know, cremate me or something. Or just let me, you know, rot or, mm-hmm. or whatever. Because I'm telling you that when we look at the animals, their manure fertilizes and, yes. and gr- you see what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like, it's a circle of life. It's a process. And so I think people mm-hmm. really, really need to take like to re- like like you said your mom was like a deer in a head like she went vegan gave mm-hmm. her body the and plants. she had clear blood readings throughout her whole entire process because the plants is some serious especially when she got a daughter that travels all the way to China <laughs> to pan pick herbs to make sure that y'all don't get no synthetic herbs <laughs> in the products yes, that she's selling yes. and this is something that yes. you really do yeah so we have different um sources right so we source literally globally. So I recently was in China, but we literally source globally, globally, globally. And you, ha- have you actually from- go yeah, yeah, and look at them, smell them, yes. test them. Because like yes. I said, you you work in a lab to build your product. Yes. And the lab that we work in, we actually only do tropical plants. Mm. And we actually test. We have all the equipment in our lab to test the purity of something or to test, um, to compare the chemical differences. Because you have certain plants Right? They may be the same plants, but they're grown in different locations. And because they're grown in different locations, then their chemical composition will be different. Mm. One will probably be, be more beneficial to the body, be more beneficial for detoxification purposes than the other plant that was grown somewhere else, mm. simply because of the soil. Okay. So, yeah, we have all that equipment inside of the lab. Makes sense. Okay. Let's talk about this sea moss that you got. Ooh, let's talk about the moss. Because you have a moss. purple sea moss that I'm using right now. Yes. Yes. Um, and for those of y'all that think I actually purchased my products from Benji, I believe in supporting our people. Okay. Yes. Especially when they go all out and fly all around the world just to hear <laughs> it. The sea moss. Okay. So we have the Irish sea moss here. And it's very controversial because. Really? Yeah. It's, it's controversial because, like, I will mention that I'm using it and they're like, Dr. Sabi's a fake. Oh, man. Like, what's the, what that got to do with using sea oh, moss? Gosh. Man. Okay. Like. Now, let me just say this because we have a lot of people that come into our center in sunny South Florida and they're like, oh, um, Dr. Savy this and Dr. Savy that. And I'm just like, please understand that he did a wonderful thing for the American community, but I'm Jamaican. Mm. And before I even knew who a Dr. Savy was, or before you all knew who Dr. Savy was, matter of fact, before Dr. Savy even became Dr. Sabi. You guys were already doing We were it. already eating sea moss, making sea moss, doing all these different things with sea moss. So I'm just like, shout out to Dr. Sabi. I love what anyone is doing to mm-hmm. uplift people and help them to understand how to treat their body. Right. But I didn't come up through Dr. Sabi. Okay. I didn't, I'm not an alkaline person. Right, because when people say alkaline, 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 everything has to be alkaline. I'm like, how can everything be alkaline if your body itself doesn't have everything be alkaline? Mm. Your body has different pHs. Your skin is a pH of a five. Your intestines, your stomach is a pH of like a two. Your vagina is a pH of a three point five to a four point five. And but you're trying to tell me alkaline, alkaline, alkaline. No, what you're trying to say is your blood should be alkaline. Now, how do you alkalize your blood and make sure your blood is clean? You have to ensure that your entire system is clean because your blood works to remove toxins, to bring nutrients, to make sure that your pH is right, to make sure your body's temperature is right. Your blood has so many different functions. So, but that's the goal, not alkaline everything because your whole entire body's not alkaline. Mm. So that's why I'm just like, I'm not a Sabiite. I support what he's doing because of the greater goal. Mm -hmm. I support that, but understand 
that's not embrace Pangea. Mm. That's not our mission. That's not our goal. Mm. Our goal is good, better, best to help you achieve your personal health and wellness goals. Okay. Because so, everybody's body is different. Right. Everyone's okay. body's different. Okay. And so for us, from the Caribbean community, from speaking from a Jamaican perspective, we've been using sea moss for eons. Mm. Eons. And even the Irish people, that's why they were able to survive their famine in the 1800s because of sea moss. That's mm. why, why do they call it Irish moss? Because the Irish people used it to survive their famine in the 1800s. Mm. Right? Okay. No, no, I'm getting a history lesson. I didn't do too well in school. You know, I didn't go to class. So, okay, so we have your Irish sea moss here. Yes, our golden moss. I see that. Now, where did, obviously, no, because I always thought maybe, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. Yes. I really thought the reason they called it Irish sea moss is because they got it from, like, the sea. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna no. Lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm being, look, y'all, I'm being all no. the way 100 here. because We I don't source know our sea moss from the Caribbean. Okay, so we source our sea moss from the Caribbean. We source our sea moss from the Caribbean. Because it says ingredients, 100% Irish sea moss. I'm like, this stuff is from Ireland, okay? No, 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 that's look. just what we call it. Like, even in Jamaica, like, and a lot of times when I, I'm speaking about it, people are like, oh, you shouldn't call it Irish moss. You shouldn't call it Irish moss. And I'm just like, first of all, back up. I'm Jamaican. We have drinks called Irish Moss all the time. So I don't know what you're talking about. Right. But for me, as a Jamaican, I may not sound Jamaican, but as a Jamaican, Irish Moss. Like, that's what we call it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Now, tell me the benefits of this, because this is actually the raw. This is raw. Yes. So that is our raw Irish Moss, or for the folks out there that don't like me saying Irish, mm -hmm. um, sea moss. Um, so, yeah, that is our golden moss. And it's raw. It's wildcrafted. People are like, well, what does wildcrafted mean? Okay, it literally means, like, we go out, we source it literally from the sea, and then we dry it out under the sun. Mm. So sometimes we may have back orders for our moss because it's raining all the time. And if it's raining, we can't dry our moss. Now, can we? Yeah. No. So that's what may happen sometimes. Um, but... Um, what was the other question about the moss? Tell me, tell me about its like benefits and things like okay. that. What made you just say, you know, I'm gonna add Irish sea moss to my lineup of products? Because I don't think people know how important this is. I mean, I personally use it. I've seen the benefits, but I want you to really break it down. Now I'm gonna, you know, have to be like super, super, super real with you guys with this. Okay, I have to shout out my king. Shout out to Shaka Moss. Like he is my rock my everything and the reason being is because he's the reason why we even have golden moss irish moss or sea moss your husband yeah no wow. well we're fiance right now fiance. okay okay 10 10 20 10 10 20 is oh. the wedding day 10 10 20 is going I, down i'm gonna crash her wedding <laughs> no you're not crashing because you're invited really because i was just like even she didn't invite no. me i'm crashing <laughs> i'm bringing my bottles but I'd be like, I know y'all don't do wine here, but... Uh. It's a vegan affair. It's a okay, vegan affair. Okay, okay. But the point is that... Um, and congratulations. Thank you. Yes. He was the one that uh, really taught me how to make Irish moss gel. Because oh. before that, I would only buy it... Because at home, like back when I was living in Jamaica, mm -hmm. we didn't actually make Irish moss gel. We would just go to the item man who had Irish moss already pre-made and had it in the smoothie form already done, and we'll buy it there. Mm. But it was when I was, met my king, and I was going back and forth with him in New York, and he was the one who taught me how to make Irish sea moss gel. Oh, wow. And then from there, I was just like, this is so simple. We need to have this all the time. Shout out to the black man teaching their yes. black women things. Like Shout my black man. Shaka Amos. <laughs> Shout out to Shaka Amos. He is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, but he's the reason why we do have Irish sea moss as a part of our catalog, because I'm like, oh, now that I know how to make the gel, mm -hmm. I need to have this all the time. And so... That's how things grow in I Embrace Pangea. Like, we do stuff for our family first, and then we branch out. So the thing was, okay, if I have it for my home, I wonder if you guys would like it as well. And so that's how we started offering it. What type of things do you use it for? Like Irish So moss? for me, it's really good for lubrication, for vaginal lubrication. Wait a minute. <laughs> no glycerin. No <laughs> KY no jelly. You it's use not, that because I, I no, I you don't recently... use it externally. You don't use it externally. You eat it. 
And when you eat it, it helps to lubricate your body. So if you have someone like... Oh, girl, I thought you... No, I know where you were going. I, and I wasn't going to let you go down that path. I wasn't going to let you go down that path you by yourself. You said lubrication. The way she said it, though. I'm like, did she said it? <laughs> did you get that too, Jasmine? No, it's just me. I'm being nasty up in here. Oh, my God. No, and see, that's the thing. It's not being nasty. You're just having a conversation. I know. See, we, you know. we have to we have to as a community we have to stop doing that. Like just make it a normal part of the conversation. Okay, okay. Be like, oh I'm going to the store. Be like, oh okay, yes, it's lubrication. I'm going to have sex. I'll be back. Y'all. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I will be back. <laughs> but um for lubrication in the body, right? So okay. if you're someone who has um joint issues, um, or anyone who has like dryness of any sorts, even you have dryness in your skin, um, eczema, it's really good to take internally what about arthritis yeah arthritis as okay. well it's really good to take internally i had one person who left a review and they were saying you know they've had arthritis and um they've been taking the moss for about two months and they've literally been able to move and hold things and do the activities that they used to do before they really stiffness that exactly so that's one of the benefits the other benefit is let's say you're someone who is trying to live a healthy life, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't really have time to be in the kitchen all the time. Then sea moss is also really good because of the nutrient content. It's extremely nutrient dense. So you literally have like a daily supplement with your sea moss. So if you add it to a smoothie, that's what I do. Yes, you yeah. know you can do it um in sauces, and put oh. it in soups, put it in your tea. Yes. So there's no such thing as, because I do it once a day, there's no such thing as too much sea moss. I don't think so. Because our family, like when I'm making our morning smoothies, I literally put like a half a cup per person. Oh, wow. Yeah, like we go in with our smoothies. Like we go in. <laughs> I want to come through one of your smoothies. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? What is this? We go no, in. No, that's good. So I, I'm glad that you broke it down. Now let's talk about your now because you you talk a lot about your herbal detox and you have it. Yes. Here, okay. I see you got some pads here too. Don't yes, too I do. I do. I love them. Let's talk about your herbal tea. Essential 18. So it has 18 different herbs. It sure does. I Visit EmbracePangea.com to treat your intimate areas with the products it deserves. The Pangea wash is made from honeysuckle and rose essential oils. is 100% natural and doesn't dry you out down there. Don't dush just in case your mama ain't never tell you that because that's nasty, okay? Oh, that's nasty. Embrace Pangea wash instead and leave you and your yoni feeling clean, fresh, and with a balanced peace. EmbracePangea.com is where you can explore all of these wonderful vegan and plant-based products. Use the promotional code Tasha K for 10% off your first order at checkout. Our Essential 18 is fantastic for your digestive system. Mm. It's not a laxative. Please keep in mind, we have things to do. <laughs> that does not include babysitting a toilet bowl, all right? So any of okay. our products, they're not going to be laxative in nature at all. Right. I haven't tried this yet. I think I'm gonna steal this from. <laughs> so we're gonna make that part of the normal culture. I'm gonna steal. Oh no! Go ahead. Go ahead. So, uh, yes, our essential 18 is so phenomenal for your digestive system. Right. Okay. So you're not gonna be on the toilet. It's not a laxative or anything like that. But this is perfect if you want to um, cleanse your colon. Okay. If you want to um, get rid of any plaque that's stuck on your colon walls, because who doesn't love sandwiches? Like, yeah. you love a good sandwich, right? Yes. I love a good sandwich. But the bread, that's a whole entire glue that you're chewing up and eating and putting through your digestive system. What? Yes. See, I didn't even know that. What yes. are you talking about? I guess that's why people get constipated. Yes. Because I get constipated when I eat bread. Yes. And, and you I wonder go, oh, why. They call it bread binge. You know, I may be a little down, mm -hmm. maybe a little sad. And I'm like, you know what? It's the fungus my, in your stomach. Let me eat my carbs. That's what it is. The fungus then I'm like, in your I stomach. can't go to the bathroom with that going on. That's what it is. And so because of that, over the years okay. of people just eating sandwiches because it just tastes good, um, you're going to have a buildup of plaque on your colon wall. See, I didn't even know you can get plaque down there either. Yes. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. You get plaque on your teeth. You get plaque on your intestinal walls. Like, it's just plaquing up everywhere. Wow. So, yes. Okay. I just knew. I knew in the heart arteries and in the teeth and stuff, but I didn't mm -hmm. know actually in the test that's that's yeah wow okay now let's what else do we have here i see we have 
uh, burdock root. That's very good for cleansing your blood. Okay, and then we have black. Let me put this up so people can see. Oh, this thing is heavy too. Yes. This is a non-GMO organic, 100% free burdock root. You put this in your smoothies too in the morning. Yes. Yes. So your smoothie is full of like sea moss, burdock Listen. root. Do you put the the you the tea too? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. What no. about the bladder <laughs> whack? What is this? Okay, bladder whack is another sea vegetable, and it's really good in combination with sea moss. Okay. So it's a good, uh, I would say, more like a cousin. Right, mm. so some of the minerals that uh, sea moss may not have or the vitamins that sea moss may not have, you can get it from bladder rack. Mm. Now, the thing about it is you have to add them together, right? So you make your gel and then you put in some of this uh, bladder rack in mm. there. And then that's how that will work. Okay. But it is phenomenal. I it see is this. Phenomenal. I have an iodine deficiency. I've always had issues with my thyroid. Mm, okay. And so it's because my body doesn't process iodine well. So wow. I think I'm going to be getting this from you. So, yeah. Then we have, let me see. I don't even. Moringa, you got moringa. Leaf powder. Now, what is this Man, for? listen. A lot of times people say, like, oh, when you go healthy or when you go vegan or vegetarian, you're not getting protein. Up uh, lies, mm -hmm. lies. Just throw some moringa in no, there. No, every every vegetable has protein. In exactly, it. exactly. But if you're still concerned, just throw some moringa. It's moringa just like is the whole really calcium high. thing that they did with milk. Yes, the bullshit. propaganda, the propaganda. Yeah, it's bullshit. Oh, you only can get calcium from milk. And I have pe people will die hard say that, and I'm like, no. They put that in your head, just like they put McDonald's mm -hmm. on every every corner. Sure okay, did. so it's there is no it it's it's such a myth. It's like they did that for marketing purposes. Yeah. And then we have here is this or oh, pencil clay? Is this for the face? Yes, well, it's for your entire body. Oh. So it's a clay detoxifier for your entire body. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use it on your face, you want to use it on your back, your chest, anywhere that you have uh, acne or mm -hmm. breakouts or things like that, even on like your private parts. Sometimes when people shave or they get waxes done. Then they start breaking out. Oh, yeah. That's me. So definitely just go ahead. Okay. And we also give the uh, bowl, the mixing bowl. So you don't have to worry about um, trying to find, like, oh, well, what container do I need to mix everything up into? So we give you, mixing bowl. it's a full kit. It's a powder. So mm -hmm. Let me see. Hold on. It's got a little lid on top, so I can't smell no. it. No. Me... Just take it open, open. Let me see. Oh, wow. Actual clay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I use Amberium clay. Okay. So you heard of that? No. Yeah, I have to um, go and look that up. It's really good. It keeps my face really, really hydrated because I have dry, dry skin uh, and sensitive skin. So it, it really okay. does. Look. People want to know, like, what does you do your skin, Amberium clay? I don't, I don't do what she does. You see how shiny she is, and she has on I no. I hope I'm not you too have shiny. On any makeup? <laughs> no, I don't have on any. You see that? That's that's hydration right there. No, this is our uh, CBD hemp oil that I have on right now. On my you face. Put CBD oil on your. It's so good. It's organic. It's like everything. You're supposed to smoke. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I did not say that on air. I'm just saying. No. It's CBD hemp oil. It's pressed from the. See, I can't even remember that. It's pressed oil, you guys. It's pressed oil. But no, seriously, like that's what I put on my face. So that cannabis oil actually. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. I put it on my face. That's what I put on my face. That's what I do. You look good, girl. You Thank you. Good. Now, what's your book about? Oh, okay. So this is our drink the I rainbow. I had her bring everything because I'm telling <laughs> this type of stuff. This is like being in a candy store for me, y'all. Y'all don't know when I see all this stuff like this. I'm like, oh my god. Like most people like shopping. They like going, you know, Gucci bags. They like, you know, going. Oh, your shopping. thing is health stuff. Health stuff. I'm yes. like, oh, what does this do? What does this do? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So what is your book? Do tell me a little bit. Drink okay. The rain. Okay. Yes, so it's all about juicing, everything that you need to know when it comes to uh, juicing. How to juice, when to juice, what the different produce are. We have 88 recipes in the back of the book. So if you're just like, okay, I'm starting out juicing, but I don't want to mess up my juice. Like, I don't want to spend all this time juicing and then it tastes like garbage water. This is like water. the Bible of juicing. Is it surely is. It surely is. Because you, you can't, I mean, you can look online and they'll tell you, oh, it does this. But for you to actually have the education that you have. Mm -hmm. And to know what you know, this is like coming from a doctor, because you're you're pretty much a doctor in this. Well, I just want to make it clear, I'm not a medical doctor. But she, she's a doctor. I'm a research doctor. 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 Which is much stronger, because most doctors are dumb. I'm going to be honest with you. I was telling my auntie that the other day. No, for real, I was telling her the other day. Let me tell you about my auntie now. She going okay. to get mad when she sees this. I don't care, because I, I told her. We apologize in advance. She needs to know the truth. 
So she drinks coffee all day. Oh. Along and she, up. and she chases it with a Coke. Ooh. She eats ramen noodles and beef jerky and popcorn. That is her diet oh. as a nurse practitioner. And let me tell you what else do she Do as did. I say, not as I do, she says. Let me tell you. <laughs> hey, huh? Okay, okay, cool. And she also, like, she had, because, you know, we have breast cancer that runs in our family, right? Okay. So she had her breast tissue removed and had implants put in just to avoid breast cancer. Oh, wow. Then she had a volunteer hysterectomy. You know what I'm saying? So she wouldn't get over it. Wow. Like, I'm like, you did all this, but yet you chasing Coke mm. and ramen noodles. You know what? That's probably why she did it, because she knew <laughs> that she wasn't doing right. And she was like, since I'm not doing right, let me get with the get right and do what I can do, because this is where I am. But that costs some money, though. That's expensive. That's the expensive. People invest in what they want to invest in. Angelina Jolie did the same thing, so. Okay, she did. She did. She did. She did. She had her mm-hmm. breast removed, so. Yeah, she did. I'm just like, I believe in, like, eating right. Like, most people will go get lipo. Shout out to you if you want to go get lipo. But me, I'm just like, you know what? If my fupa don't go nowhere, it just don't go nowhere. <laughs> you know, but I'm going to do what I can to make sure that I, I just don't, you know, I just, I don't believe in taking the easy way out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you think it's taking the easy way out? I do. Mm-hmm. So you think they're cheating? I like, do. Like, you walk around with a whole entire cheat body. Yeah, like, <laughs> but you know what? Shout out to him. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, it's not even like shit. I'm just the type of person I feel like I will get it more. Because okay. my thing is, like, if I go have lipo, I'm probably going to want to keep having it. And then I'm not going to want to exercise. Uh, and when a doctor tells me, oh, you look great, but you're not great on the right, inside, right. then I'm going to have to, I, I would hate to have to readjust. You don't want to do it again. You don't want to do it twice. At 50 years old. But you, the women stay on that table. Women stay mm. on that table. And like I said, and a lot of them look great. Some of them take it out of control, mm. and then they look like circus animals. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I just believe in achieving health by getting to know my body. Mm. And for me, I'm going to be honest with you, I am my best when I'm not eating meat. Some Facts. people can eat Facts. meat. Facts. Some people can eat meat and be totally fine. But for me, and here's the catch-22. Okay, so what's the deal? The catch-22 for me is uh, when I don't eat meat, I'm way too skinny and my neck is sunken in. I have pictures. No, for real. Uh, I have pictures. You don't have to send real. me those pictures. But <laughs> when I say that my brain cells are actually reproducing. Okay. And I'm on a whole nother level. Your vibration. vibe is different. Oh, my God. Like, Your I'm like, energy damn, is I'm different. smart as fuck. Like, That's and I right. can calculate. Because so, you're clear. Yes. You're clear. Because keep in mind, when you're eating plants, you're getting the oxygen into your blood, Mm. right? Because there's the thing, the difference between your blood cell and chlorophyll, which is at the core of plants, right? Chlorophyll is what makes plants green, right? Mm -hmm. They're the same structure, the same exact structure. The only difference is the metal at the center of it. That's Mm. it. One for you, for us, our blood hemoglobin. That's why our blood is that dark, deep red color. Sometimes it's purplish, right? But it's a dark, mm-hmm. deep because of the iron. But with chlorophyll, right, the plants, you have magnesium. That's what gives it that green type mm. of color, right? And the reason why you're like, oh, well, I can think better. Yeah, you can think better because you're getting the oxygen where it needs to go. Because you're getting all the plants in. I'm telling you, like, it's a whole nother level. Like, phone numbers. I can remember. Because when I was little, I was like, dang, I can remember phone numbers. Now it's like, you know, smartphones have a lot to do with it, too. Right. But it's like so many things. Like, I'm like, this is a, I'm a whole different person. You are a whole different person. I'm not willing. I'm like, how can I still keep a nice, healthy not that I'm not healthy. Size. But a nice you want to maintain size your size without, without compromising your health. Like, you know, Greta that's been smoking crack at not 50. Not Greta down For the street real? that's been smoking crack. No, there's Greta. Some women, there's some women that look good like you. And, like, you don't see the bones. You don't see that stuff. Oh, like, thank you. And you look great. Models. That means I'm gaining weight. <laughs> no. no. Thank you. <laughs> but for me, I'm like... But listen, we could do this all day. Real quick. Yes. Where can they go? Because I know they've heard you so many times. Oh, EmbracePangea.com. Yes. <laughs> EmbracePangea.com. That is Embrace Pangea. Pangea is spelled P-A-N as in Nancy, G-A-E-A dot com. Everything is there literally from your rooter to your tutor. We have you covered. We have helped literally 20 
thousand plus individuals to achieve their personal health and wellness goals by removing toxins from their life by using our natural hygiene products and herbal detoxes and we do have our retreats coming okay. so yes i will tell you about that on the next installment of what's popping with embrace pangea <laughs> here at on wine with tasha k and they, can find, you can, they can find you on instagram at embrace yes pangea. Her everywhere instagram page is popping let me tell you hey it's popping and they can also find you on youtube you have you have your own sure, channel as well yep. we have our full <laughs> interviews with our our past uh, clients, clients and customers there. So if you if you have any doubts or you want yeah. more information, go on check the it products, out. She actually has real people there. Yes, we literally have are, hundreds of yes, reviews. Yes. We are available. We are accessible. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be our first time, but definitely not our last time here with you all the winos. You know, we have a lot of tea. Well, not tea, but wine to be spilling with you guys. I am. And I'm going to bring her back. Trust me, because I, like I said, we can go on forever <laughs> about this, okay? Thank you so much, Thank Tammy, you. Tamika, a.k.a. TC. Yes. Thank you for having me. All right, now we got to go.